Okay, let's head over to Rocky Blue. Alright, now this means we are going to be switching to number four. This will be our Phoenix. Now we've got Nightcrawlers on here. I think I'm going to switch that up. Oh gosh, I must have been fishing for something a lot bigger the last time I was on this. Let's see. Yeah, I seem to... I like the number two hook for these guys. I also like to put it at about 80 centimeters. Or 80 inches, I should say. That's a perfectly fine bobber to use, but I am going to use bait wise. Actually, these. Wax worms, which I need to get more of, it looks like. That's all right, the drunken worms they go for too, and I've got plenty of those. All right, usually what I do is I get out here like a, I'm, as you can see, there's a rock right here. And I try to throw it out about somewhere between 20 and 35 feet towards where that metal shed is right there above my rod. Might put it a little in front of it, but I let it float down until it reaches just past that bush and then I'll reel it back in and recast alright let's see what we can do here yeah it usually doesn't take long Looks like I have my bite indicator turned off. Well, he's just fiddling with it, isn't he? There he goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whoa. There we go. Looks like I had it a little... Huh! I was not expecting a young common carp. Huh. That is pretty wild. Well, we'll keep him. Well, I'm glad I got that drag turned down quick enough. I was about ready to snap that line. Alright, let's see what we can do here about that bite indicator. Uh, let's see. Ah, there it is. There we go. Yeah, I just like to have that because it kind of helps me a little bit. It was not available when I used to play before, but I really like it actually. Let's get that in a little bit. It's a little too far out. Up there should do it. Yeah, that that young carp was kind of a surprise. There we go. Whoa, that gone. What in the world am I? Just gonna be pulling in carp right now? Oh my gosh, there's a nice one. Okay, he's he's decent sized. Trophy red ear. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a picture of him, guys. You're keeping him, that's for sure. But I tell you, I'm going to need to take this tension down a little even more.
Yeah, I must have a lighter line on here. That's ideal, right there. But yeah, they just... They just keep on biting. There's another one. Oh, he's a fat bugger, look at him. He's one fat fish. Take a look at looking from a distance. I'm sure he didn't look as big when I. Oh, he's pretty good size. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. We'll keep him. Alright, that's good. That is good. Yeah, the red ears go for uh, quite a few different baits. Waxhorns is my favorite to use, but they will also go for pet food and red worms and maggots. So they're not too picky. There we go. Another uncommon carp. And I am going to run out of wax rooms. You know, I didn't think that was ever going to happen. Usually had well over a hundred of the things. So I have been busy. There we go. I think this is just your regular red ear. Yeah. That's good. There we go. I think we might have us another trophy. Yep, we sure do. Yeah, when you keep bringing them in like that, it doesn't take long to get the cash. Not at all. I think I'll bring it just a tad. There. Current doesn't seem as strong as he used to, too. I'm, that is good. There we go. Took him long enough. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A personal record. Oh my goodness. Wow. 
You know how long I've been fishing for these guys? Personal record, guys. Check him out. That is a nice fish. Unique red ear. 3.950 pounds. He's almost 4 full pounds. 251 cash. Very nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get a picture holding this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, he's huge. Let me see if I can't get rid of that. So I wish there was a way to get out from under that thing. Well, anyway, I am very pleased. That is my best one. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, usually they don't start biting. The uniques don't start biting until after five, so he was a little on the early side. <laughs> Somebody said something. Boy, they are coming out of there big. Yeah, usually they'll bite really good with the trophies. The occasional unique up until about six. Yeah, this is not going to be a. I was going to say, he's good size for a regular, but. Got us another good size one. Another trophy. Yeah, you pretty much get these one right after another. That's why I love them. You're probably thinking to yourself, 513, how are you ever going to fill up that fish castle L? Well, let me tell you guys, we haven't started fishing for the flatheads yet. <laughs> Believe me, you're going to need the space. Ah, another young common carp. Getting a lot more of those than we used to.
think we got us another trophy. Yep. There we go. Now they're coming a little smaller. There we go. I think we got us a decent one this time. Another unique. I'll be darned. That's two so far. <clears throat> Just about out of wax worms here. I'm going to check the store, see if they have any more. <laughs> Another trophy. <laughs> yeah, we're filling this thing up, I tell you. There we go. Oh, nice. Trophy black crappie. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, it's getting close to 6 o'clock. I'm thinking about heading on over to Woody Enchantment to see if the gar may still be over there.